Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's February 1st, 2023. We're back with a second season of Fat Pack February. If you are new to Shenanigans Card Park, around these parts we like to say, Believe in the Fat Pack. Believe. There are monsters hidden in Fat Packs, and we are hoping to land one of them during the series this year. And depending on what we pull, there may also be spontaneous giveaways, so don't change that channel. The Auto Relic Adventure will return in March, uh, but there will be a new episode of Fat Pack February every Wednesday of the month, and then a finale episode on February 28th, the last day of the month. We're starting with basketball, because we are in the basketball season. To that end, in the dugout today, we got George Mikan and Dr. J. At the end of the episode, we will send it down onto the field, take a close look at those guys in the dugout, talk about why they're in there today, as well as look at any highlight polls. So let's not waste any more time. Let's start Fat Pack February. I am excited. We've got the captain, number two, Lego Jeter. Number two. He's hopefully feeling good, feeling healthy, ready to hit a coo a coo. A little nose rub for you. So, here is what we're going to rip today. We've got to get our focus tight. We got a little prism, a little optic, as well as some uh, draft picks, illusions, and of course the premium stock. Do a little job, Morant hunting. Let's start it uh, with the. Let's just go in this order, huh? What do we say? I think that sounds like a good plan. Got our special bonus pack. All right, Jaron Jack. Jaron Jackson Jr. playing pretty well. I mean, obviously Memphis is dangerous. Oh, beauty. Starting out hot. You know, I PC LeBron. That gets Jeets to first base, at least. And I don't have this one. Love that look, too. Flex, LeBron. I feel you, LeBron. I know people like to get on LeBron about throwing tantrums, but he got fouled so hard in that game against Boston, and they just were like, nah, whatever. Would have won the game. One free throw would have won the game. Reggie Bullock. Dort. Pretty good. Eric Gordon. Dame time. Dame going off this year. Dame just, like, letting it happen. Saying, you can't stop me. Ooh, it looks like we got maybe one of those 75th anniversaries. Ooh, Scotty Barnes, Rookie of the Year. For a second there, I thought maybe the cut looked really bad, but no, nope, looks all right. Steve Nash. All right, what's our Fred Van Vliet? So it wasn't one of those. And Bogdanovich. So not spectacular first pack, but pretty good with the Braun and the Scotty Barnes. So, believe, right? Starting off strong. I mean, who knows? Let's see what's in our our bonus pack. Mo Bamba. Daniel Gafford. And, oh, Joe Weisskamp. So, not a great bonus pack. But, some nice base there. Let's actually, no, I'm going to switch it up. Because I know not a lot of people like Prism Draft Picks. And truth be told, I got it because it's actually a little difficult to put together Fat Pack February right now. Because not a lot of companies are making Fat Packs anymore. That's really the tragedy. And when they do, like for these, they're $14.99 when really, you know, ideally they should be like 10 bucks. So you're paying a lot if you get a lot of Fat Packs. So my hope is maybe next year they might come back around and make fat packs. But, you know, I was commenting with a few subscribers that it was a real bummer because, you know, things that we love around here, Ginter Stadium Club, uh, they didn't make any fat packs. Looks like JJ's blinking. I'm enjoying JJ uh, on the sideline, though. He's not a bad uh, color commentator. Russ, book night. PG, Drummond, Primo, Corey Kispert, ooh, the Brandon Boston, Jimmy Buckets, 
Clipper PC hit right there. A little Brandon Boston action. Spider saying, don't forget about me. Oh, nice. That's a nice hit right there. And what do we got? And an autograph of RJ Nemhard. Well, there you go. Like I said, believe in the fat pack because there are monsters now. Obviously, RJ Memhard is not somebody that I'm very familiar with. Um, beautiful card. Uh, I will look into him a little bit more. But that's going to get Jeter to third at least. Would have been nice if it was like a top pick. But... Uh, who knows? Uh, you know, sometimes I'm just not familiar with the guy, and I look into him. Like I know a lot of people are very high on Josh Giddy, and I just don't know that much about Josh Giddy. But I learn from watching other people's channels that uh, people dig him. These are really cool looking. Wow, these are beautiful. Better than these, I would say. Really, really, just nice design. Really clean. Like all that. Great refractor action. And that was a good pack right there with a KD hit and an auto. Plus a little Clipper PC action. All right. So Jeets and uh, Aku Aku, so far so good. I'm liking the start to Fat Pack February. Let's hope we can keep it rolling like this. Autos, autos, autos. That's what we want. I don't know why they put that in the value pack so you don't get a bonus pack. It seems very weird to me that they did that. All right, Jalen Suggs. It's like, I don't know what's in there, like uh, some ricin or something? <coughs> Someone called Walter White. Nice. Bam! Bam is showing out in Miami right now. He's like, y'all forgot about me? I'm really good. Miles McBride. Shangun, young, very talented. I know a couple people that watch the channel have commented on Shangun or Singun. Uh, very, very young. What, 1920? Something like that. But a really, really good player. Bright future. More Bogdanovich. Zo! Big Zo! These are cool cards. These 75 years in the NBA. Nice. I don't think I've pulled any of these yet out of Optic. The winner stays. I just like the look of it. Cool font use. I dig that. Ant-Man, my house. All right, what's our blue here? Jonathan Isaac. Ja Morant. I think that. And JT. Th I think that scores Jeter, right? Because Ja Morant is balling hard this year. Nice pack. You know, last year we ripped a lot in Fat Pack February, and we did okay, not great. This is already arguably better than a lot of what we pulled last year. Um, maybe just the luck is changing for us a little bit. Obviously, we will be ripping baseball too, so keep our hopes high for that. Okay. We get something cool that looks like there's something kind of interesting in the middle, perhaps. I do like um, Illusion. It's a, it's a fun, unique set. I say it all the time. It reminds me a little bit of Top's gold label. More Eric Gordon. Bagley. I wonder if Lonzo is ever going to come back. Jeremy Grant. More Dort. Bradley Beal. These are just cool because they got, like, neat texture on them. Covington. Clipper now. All right. Tatum. Isaiah Joe. And who's our... And Halliburton. So, all right. Me. Not a super-duper great illusions pack, but Jeter's already scored once, and this is really the fun stuff. So... Interesting, this product. Um, I guess they're not going to do it anymore. They seem to have printed a lot of it uh, because, you know, it seemed like it was going to be rare, and then you kept finding it, and you can kind of go on eBay and find it for a reasonable price. But I think it's a fantastic product. Uh, I think the cards are really sharp. Obviously, the year of Jaws, Zion, 
It's got autos, cool inserts. So I, I don't know why people didn't snap it up uh, quite so much that there's a lot of leftover out there, but I guess that's just our uh, to our benefit. All right, AD. I don't know if he's hurt again or like he didn't play and played for a little bit. And, and uh, as people who watch the show regularly know, I pull a ton of Anthony Davis. All right, Jokic working on three Pete and his MVP. The Caruso, a headbandless Caruso. Giannis. Well, let's stick him action there. Not the curry we're looking for. Norm Powell playing really well for the Clips. My beloved Clippers. In Norm, we trust. Sometimes he just decides to take the game over and go off. Fernando. Come on, can we get a jaw here? Duncan Ro Ooh. I don't think I've ever pulled that one before. Is that numbered? It's not, but really cool man that's some really neat design work right there would have been nice if that was a jaw rookie or a zion rookie or a terrence man rookie you know we're always hunting terrence man actually just picked up another cool t-man card slabbed show that off whenever it arrives possibly during fat pack february all right can we get a nice one out of our bonus pack Last card mojo, possibly. R.J. Barrett. All right. Uh, I'd say I'd put that as like a double. The Knicks, obviously, not good this year. Um, I don't know if R.J. is kind of taking a step backwards or not, but I still have a lot of faith in R.J. Barrett. A uh, lot of potential. Still very, very young player, too. So can't really, like, make too many decisions about him just yet. Uh, so there you go. Not too shabby. That first couple packs there were really, really nice. Uh, but I definitely had a good time ripping all those in our first episode here of Fat Pack February 2023. Let's send it down onto the field. Take a look at the dudes in the dugout and some highlights. In the dugout today are two all-time greats, two Hall of Famers, George Mikan and Dr. J. Because on this day back in 1967, the 10-team ABA was formed. George Mikan was the commissioner, and by the time the ABA merged with the NBA, Dr. J was the best player around. The ABA also gave us the three-point shot. Uh, so with today's modern NBA, we know it would not be the same without the three-pointer. Uh, so thank you to the ABA for that. Got a cool Hall Kings, and I absolutely love this Noir Dr. J relic numbered out of 75 uh, just a real treasured item right there. Uh, also, quick fun fact, on this day in 1984, the late, great David Stern became the commissioner of the NBA, and we know he had a great deal to do with turning the NBA into a global game. Uh, so thank you for that, David Stern. Okay, let's slide it over and look at some highlights. We did pretty well on the rookie card front here in this first episode of Fat Pack February. We didn't pull any number one overall picks, no Zion, no Ja, but a lot of good players. Uh, really cool RJ Barrett here out of the Hoops Premium Stock. Shangoon, uh, you know, got to keep your eye on him, especially being as young as he is. And we hit an auto. I looked into RJ Nemhard. Uh, he went undrafted, and he's currently playing in France. But he's only 23 years old, so you never know where he might wind up. And I gotta say, the card is really sharp. Of course, sticker auto, but uh, I like the green, just nice clean design. Uh, so I dig it a little bit. We'll keep it off to the side, and uh, you never know where he might wind up. Let's take a look at a couple more rookie cards. Three more solid rookie card highlights. You can never complain when you pull the rookie of the year. Uh, Scotty Barnes, nice looking card there. I've had the opportunity to watch a little bit of him. Uh, and he is a big player out there. I was kind of surprised at how big he looked on the court. He's a little reminiscent of Kawhi up there in Toronto. Uh, so pleased to pull this Prism Rookie card. Of course, my Clippers. We've got Brandon Boston Jr. who just gets buckets when he does get the opportunity to play. And then Jalen Suggs, of course, had a huge NC2A tournament. He has had an injured ankle for a while, but he should be coming back really soon. Uh, so very pleased to pull that rated rookie. Let's close it out with a couple superstar highlights. 
The NBA All-Star Game is coming up quickly, and we got three perennial All-Stars here to close it out. Nice pulls, each and every one of them. Uh, like I said, not a lot of people were very high on the Prism draft picks, but I got to admit, I think the design of them is really sharp. Great color scheme, good hollow, uh, you know, good image use, like where the logo is of the team. Uh, we pulled an auto out of it, uh, you know, so it was a pretty good rip. Uh, of course, Ja Morant having an MVP caliber season seems to get better and better every year. I don't know if you could quite call this optic a color match, but it is blue on blue, uh, and it's just a really sharp looking card. And of course, as a LeBron guy, uh, nice to pull this card. Didn't have it, like the flex pose. Uh, just a fun one to close it out with. But leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the first episode of Fat Pack February. Always looking forward to reading your comments. Much more to come. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.